the mood of the thing as you look at it has changed. You know, at first it seemed threatening and sort of surrealistic, and now it's just soft and sort of enveloping and beautiful. It's like snow or something like this. It's sure, sure changed my idea of scale of things, if nothing else. I think one really interesting thing the Caldor projects do is bring these things that we imagine are kind of mythical or historical or canonised into, into a context that we can physically understand. You know, it makes sense to me that he's been able as a, as a patron and a producer and an impresario to execute, you know, 34 pretty large-scale projects over the last 50 years. As to ask somebody permission for a piece of coast and have to explain it that you want to package it, that's quite a problem. For 50 years, John goes, here's something is an act of love, an act of care for community and for society, and that the artists are given the invitation to go, what do you need to say? I wanted to bring to Australia, to the Australian public, to the Australian artists, the latest developments of, of contemporary art. Rather than bringing exhibitions, I wanted to bring the artists so that the artists could interact with the public. Personal connections were made between a place, between people, between artists. Let's see if we can do some more.